Hey everyone, it's Michael and Ruben from Bullionow, bullionow.com.au. Um, and you're going to have to excuse Ruben because... My voice is <laughs> is, is only just returning. It's been dead for the last couple of days. So, so uh, yeah, you're going to have to put up with a lot of me and not as much Ruben. Yeah. So, we've been copping a bit of heat just lately about not enough product on the web. So, we um, only just got back. That's right. And it's all just started arriving. And it always happens. We get this um, dearth of... Um, you know, product, we don't get deliveries, all that sort of stuff, and then everything starts arriving at once. So this is a selection. We're going to do a gold one now, but you can actually see in the corner the beginnings the of the silver one. Silver one to come. So I think it's about two, two and a half million dollars worth of gold. Not just on this table. We didn't, we couldn't fit it all on the table, so there's some off to the side. But we're going to give you a selection of what has turned up, and we might even reference some things that we've forgotten to put on the table. But yeah. Where do you want to start, mate? Most lovely table full of gold. Um, I don't know. <laughs> pick, pick the closest one. It's kind of the uh, you know the old Christmas thing of pick, picking the one that uh, it is. Been eyeing you off. Well, um, let's let's do some, some that we know, some old faves. So um, this will be minted bars back in stock again. So good to see. So these are five grammars. Are they all five grammars? I believe that box is. Yeah, Just okay. Because we've had a couple of boxes of the minted. So if you've been looking for minted in. Uh, 1 gram, 5 gram, 10 gram, and 20 gram, they've all, all arrived. There are some 1 ounce, uh, 50 gram, and 100 grams have shown up, but not huge quantities of those yet. We're still uh, waiting on some of those. So the minted bars are in. We'll put those to the side. Some, some 50s in there, one of those. Oh, we'll have a look. Yeah, see, these are 1 grammers. These are the little fellas. So great for... I might even actually open a box. These are great for... If you've got someone that you want to get interested in gold, you know, whether it be, you know, a friend or one of the grandkids or you know, anything in between sort of thing, these are great. They cost you, oh, they're, they're less than a hundred bucks a pop usually. Um, we'll and they're, around that anyway. Yeah, they're just a really good size, you know, and a good introduction. So it's enough gold for people to go, wow, but it's not that much gold that you go, holy mackerel. <laughs> Outside of Sovereign Hill Gold, that was that was my first gold as one of them. It's a, it's a good starting point. It's a great starting, starting point. point. So good for starting, good for presents, good for interest sake and showing around. Um, so that's the minted bars. This was the next one you were referencing, wasn't I, it? I think these are also minted bars. Um, I had a quick look at the, uh, the order number of them. So I'll have a quick look and see what's in here. Get the uh, quote unquote boring -er stuff out of the way. Boringer. Boringer. That's a technical term, no, right? No, no. It's an industry term. <laughs> yes, you're right. Minted bars, but I think see they're... The sizes, right? They didn't Mystery label. box. <laughs> it's odd, normally it comes with a sticker on the outside. To to find out. So these are 50 grammars. So you can see 50 gram stamp there. It's got a a number and that side. So these are great for anyone who hasn't seen these before. They're what we call a minted bar. So they're produced in sheets of gold rather than poured in like a cast bar where they effectively pour it into a, like a cake tin sort of thing and tip it out. These are actually stamped out of a big sheet of gold. But the thing, the other thing that we like about these things is the packaging they come in. It's called tamper evident packaging. And if I tried to open this, and I'm not going to do it with a brand new one, but it actually comes up with void printed all the way around the outside. Now that doesn't mean the gold's bad, it just means that Perth Mint's saying, well, somebody's played around with it, we're not guaranteeing that that's the same gold that we put in there when it left the mint. So, yeah, it's um, it's like an added security level and it's not, not a bad thing. Alrighty, we've also had... <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanted to do a bit of a highlight on these. Yeah, so... Well, both types. Both types of Perth Mint gold. So these are kilo bars. Yeah, Perth Mint, this is the standard kilo bar that Perth Mint um, has always kind of done. Although, you'll note now, they come with a certificate of assay. Yeah, which is a nice little touch. A lot of the, uh, the other brands have been doing that for a little while. It's uh, yeah. interesting to see Perth do, this, do the same. Join the 21st century. That's it. Um, but they're actually producing this new bar. So this bar here, they're actually slightly dearer than the old one. But they will, I don't know if they give you the burst on the back. It doesn't look like they do. Oh, it does. Certificate of origin. So they actually um, confirm where this gold has come from itself. Um, that it's not, um, you know, come from any, any areas that it shouldn't have and anything along those sort of lines. It's not recycled gold. 
it's all first use as far as I'm aware, although I would have to confirm that. You pay slightly more for it, but like I said, it comes with that, um, that authenticity behind it. So it's not a bad little marketing move by the Perth Mint there. Um, well, they've blown up their logo a little bit there, a bit of a design change. I, uh, I quite like the uh, quite like the new one. Yeah, it looks good, but don't don't forget, gold is gold. So it just depends on which which side of the fence you want to lean on, whether you want that, you know, um, certificate of origin, or whether you're happy with just a normal bar. Is the old one still going to be available, or are they yes. phasing them out? No, that go. I'm aware of, they're not phasing them out at this stage. There you go. Um, both worlds. Alrighty, so let's get to another box that's yeah. already been opened. Um, are these all the same thing? They are. Oh wow, these are the... Dun, dun, dun. So, we often get comments about why don't you get some more Royal Australian Mint stuff in. Um, Ram stuff is always a little bit hard to get hold of, but this is um, last year, so Year of the Ox. This is their one ounce gold Year of the Ox coin. So you can see that it's a completely different design and in fact a completely different diameter of coin to the one that uh, the Perth Mint produced for the Year of the Ox. Um, and I actually really like this design, I think it's fantastic. Different capsule, different coin, and the thing yeah. we love about these ones, and I've commented on the, the past... I'm actually going to open this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's actually the other side, because they do a bit of a, a full picture of the, uh, the rest of the Lunar series. Yeah. So, so, similar to that kind of Queen's Beast thing uh, we've also spoken about, which had the uh, kind of the entire series um, all on one coin. They've kind of done a similar thing on the back there. So you can see, I'm reading upside down, so I'm probably getting it wrong, but the dragon's over there. You've got the horse. No, I'm going to give up there. I can't see because the camera's in the way. I'll, I'll, <laughs> throw, up, I'll throw up a bit of, yeah. bit of a close-up on it and people can uh, have a look. But yeah, beautiful design. Um, have a close look at it. And if you're in the market for an ounce of gold, um, grab one of those. The other thing that we managed to score, I know that's just a small packaging, I thought there was other ones of those, um, is some of the... Am I allowed to open these? Yes, sir. <laughs> yep, the other ones. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean anything around here. <laughs> you should know that. That just means I pay the bills. We've also got a few... We haven't got as many as we have of the Ox, but we've got the uh, Beneath the Southern Skies. Now, I believe these are the kangaroo ones, but Rubes has just stuck the camera in the way, so... I'm assuming that's what I ordered. Um, I think it's the platypus. That's the platypus, is it? There you go. We will confirm it. We will. <laughs> I think that's the first so, time we've had the gold ones through. It is the first color. time. No, that's the first time we've had the gold through. And you are correct, that is the platypus on mm -hmm. there. So they are in stock. New gold stock. Mate, where do we go from here? Big bucks, city bucks. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, uh, more kilo, but have a look at this. Oh, these are pamps. Yes. So not only have we got the Perth Mints in, but we've got the pamps. Now, the last batch of these came with certificates. I can't see the certificates in the box. I'm assuming we've got them somewhere. Oh, there you go. Brand new pamp kilo bars of gold in, and there is nothing like a kilo bar of gold. They know how to do it. Yeah, so for those who have been watching our uh, world tour that we've just completed, you would have known that we took a kilo of bar of gold around Australia with us and everybody, you know, picked it up and had photos with it and the whole bang, the whole shebang. Well, yes, and it was... yes and no, we kept it a little bit secret from some of the videos, but so this yeah. might be an announcement for some people. We oh, had, you we had a well, kilo bar of gold touring with us. We did. So one of one um, with the, the Bullion Now logo on it. It's the only kilo gold bar in existence with a Bullion Now stamp on it. Um, and that was uh, that travelled with us. But you could always tell... People say, aren't you worried about somebody nicking it? Well, I mean, yeah, you do. We keep a pretty close eye on it, but you can already always tell who's holding it because they have the very big smile on their face. Trace, trace so, the green around the room. That's right. So it's not hard to tell. So heaps of kilo bars in. This is like Christmas. I sit around going, I, hands, I don't know hands, which bog's next. Hands are on some, let's, right. them. let's have a look at what these are. I actually have no clue. Pretty much what anything else is. Say, the the, the Perth Mint stuff, I had a bit of an idea beyond that, um, and, and some of the uh, already unboxed. Um, I've got no idea either. Well, this is international, whatever this one is. So, I'm looking at it, not showing anyone. <laughs> So these are these are the Royal Mint Yale of Beaufort. So these are the Yales that people have been asking for in the one ounce. Go 
Done and go in there. Yeah, so very typical royal mint. Um, and this one of the special things about this, at this stage, this is stamped 2023 and has Queen Elizabeth on the back. Will probably be one of the few 2023 coins um, produced. I know having a talk to the Perth Mint, they are limiting a lot of their production because they're trying to minimize the number of um, coins out there with Queen Elizabeth on for 2023, which is why we've seen delays in you know the Kookaburra and the Koala and that down the track. Um, so the Yales are in in gold in the one ounce. Let's see what's in this one to confirm if it's more of the same. I'd say so since it was connected, yeah. but I'm going to make sure rather than that. Well, I'm not too sure we didn't order some other sizes of them. So that's, that's really the only reason I'm wrapping through it. Um, no, these are all the same. Boy, we'll open it quickly just to confirm, but I'm 99% sure. 99.99. Eee, I was until I opened it. Yeah. That is not a Yale. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> is that your imitation of what this is? Or? No. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose. <laughs> but no, it wasn't. This is me hyperventilating. Alrighty, so taking it out of the sleeve. Now, these don't come in the protective sleeve, so don't get too excited. This is just one that they've... Stuff um, to the tubes there. Yeah. So, let's see if I can hold it so you're going to get a good look. So this is one of the big five. This is the elephant. So beautiful coin. What is the big five? If I can... So um, the South African mint produced. I'm trying to work out which way the back goes. I'm bloody if I can work it out. I'll figure it out for the, uh, for yeah. the extra shots on it. So this is produced. Let me get it in the light to make sure I'm not speaking incorrectly. These are, so the big five was the, um, the production from South Africa of five of their, their big animals, if you like. Um, and Ruben's gonna print along the bottom there as to what they were, because for the life of me, I can't think of what they were, but um, it'll come in there. So we've got um, the elephant in. We don't have any of the other big five at this stage, although we are hunting them up. No okay. pun intended. Yeah. yeah, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> um, and these are a 2022 issue. Fantastic. They do a brilliant job, the um, South African Mint on those. I was going to say, it's good to get some uh, stuff out of them uh, separate to the crew grains and things like that. We'd yeah. obviously love to get those, but it's nice to see something a little bit different. I'm just going to open one of these to make sure it's what I think it is. I'm pretty sure these are just more elephants, but uh, every so often we open one of these. Yeah, these are the elephants. Beautiful coin. I'm really excited they're in. Really excited. Those yeah, to the side. A couple of different ones there now that we've uh, never had through before, so yeah. not so. just the staples. All right, now, what's in the PCGS box? Yeah, that's going to be exciting a lot of people, but I think it's a reuse of packaging. It no, is no. a reuse of packaging. So, what have we got in here? More of the same. So these are all, these all should be the same. Always got to be careful that things aren't hiding in the packaging. And plenty of people don't know what they are, just based off the, uh, the tubes in there. Yeah. Whenever you get packaging, even from us, make sure that you check all the corners and all that sort of stuff because the number of phone calls we get from people to say, oh, we've missed that, and we'll say, well, pull the packaging apart. And Particularly with Not, some of these uh, fractional coins here, yeah. you start to talk some pretty... Uh, 999 times out of 100, out of 1,000, <laughs> um, the, the, uh, the missing coin is in there. So these are Philharmonics. Now this is, I think, I'm fairly sure this is my favourite coin um, for normal like um, country production. So you've got the instruments on one side. I think you got to cover yourself there by saying one of your favourites. Uh... Well, it is one of my favourites, but, you know, like the, you know, out of the kangaroo, the, the standard ones that each country produces, I think this is the prettiest of all of them. Um, and we've got it in, obviously, the one ounce, which is the one I'm holding. Um, and it looks like the half ounce and the quarter ounce are here. And these should be the tenth ounce, I'm guessing. 
We actually did order some 125ths of these, but I haven't seen them on an invoice coming through yet. They'll either be up on the web, and, uh, in which case we do have them just in a box we haven't found, or uh, them stay, stay posted. I'm going to use your eyesight. Now notice these don't come in capsules um, before everyone gets excited. I think that these are one tenths, but I'm going to use Ruben's eyesight to confirm it in a minute. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll also be relying on a little bit later. A little bit yeah. far back from the camera. Alrighty. So they're all in of varying sizes of the fillies. So if you've been waiting for those, and I know a lot of people have, some fractional fillies, they are here. Um, and they won't last particularly long, so... We'll grab them while you can. We've had quite a few requests for professional gold over the last little bit. So. Yeah, something a bit different to the um, the normal kangaroos and, and uh, lunas that we see. Particularly while we're in a bit of a uh, swap over period between the 2022s and the 2023s. Yeah. So we've got, wouldn't you love this? I love these sheets. So there's 25 in a sheet, well 25 in a side, so 50 ounces there. And we've got a few of those in, so... No, you don't have to buy all 50 ounces in one hit, although it is incredibly cool to have them like this in this shrink pack uh, thing. But uh, yeah, we obviously open those up and sell them one at a time through the store. Yeah, if you ever want a pack of 25 or a pack of a double pack of 50, um, let us know and we can I'm certainly source that's them. that's how we've uh, ordered them. That's uh, yeah, a great way to get them. It is. Alrighty, more boxes still. More boxes. What are we doing? This is going to be a long unboxing. Ooh, yeah. Careful. Not it's, it's packed full of gold. <laughs> it's, uh... it's, it's hard, like, sometimes you get very blase about what you're unpacking, and other times it's just like, wow, you know, this is incredible. And this is one of those days, because I reckon we've ground through, I'd be surprised if it's only two mil, that's probably more. Oh, look at these Valcambis. You can't go past a Valcambi. So, one ounce um, round. In the packaging, so just a, I'm going to call it a generic. It's, I mean, it's Valcambi. It's not just, you know, something cheap and cheerful, but it's, um, it is a, a cheap and cheerful thing. So we've got those in stock. If you're after something different in your one ounce, that is certainly what that is. It's a weird hybrid between the minted bars and the uh, and the coins. <laughs> we, we saw that with the Canadian Klondike as well. Um, yes. Yeah, you kind of get the, the coin in the in the card. Best of both worlds again there. More of those, loosely packed. So that's that box done. I did order a slab of those, I think. So this box may even have the same thing here. But we shall find out in a momento. Looks like more of the same. So, lab. oh, these are smaller sizes. Oh, there you go. This is why we check. This is why we check. So, fractional. What size are these? Uh, these seriously one gram. Woo. There you go. So, a similar kind of logic <laughs> applies to what we we're saying before about the uh, one gram Perth mint minted bars. Um, you know, that kind of entry into gold or a good gift kind of size or. Yeah. For that really, really fractional, uh, kind of tradable amount, they, they work well. This is, it's pretty sad when I don't even know what we've ordered. I think it's good. So so much gold we can't keep up. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah, these are one gramers as well. From the top, they look far bigger than one gram. This will probably just be... A loose one from the order. We'll open it up and have a quick squeeze. Um, oh, these are one ounce ones. Good stuff. Yep. Yeah, more one ounce ones. All right, we're starting to pile them all up. Ah, oh, only six boxes to go. Have to clean all those boxes later. <laughs> That's why we do it in your office. All oh, right. <laughs> I'm on to you. <laughs> 